So just a quick rant here. I'm running OpenSUSE Leap and I would like to change my keyboard to German. So this is the KDE version of the live CD. I can show you exactly what I'm running here. Cat proc command line. This shows that I'm running this live ISO. OpenSUSE Tumbleweed KDE Live snapshot 2017-0601 and it is absolutely impossible for mere models to change the keyboard to German, the keyboard language. It's just not possible. The first thing I would do is go here and maybe go to settings. Now probably configure desktop. And if I remember correctly, usually in KDE there was something to change the keyboard. So by just looking at this thing the first obvious choice here would be this symbol because a keyboard is on it and I would assume that I can change the language of the keyboard here but uh, if I go inside it doesn't seem so. It's all about shortcuts and I cannot actually change the keyboard. So this is clearly wrong. So where else could I look? Maybe it's international or something. Uh, where do we have international? Let's see. Um, regional settings maybe. Maybe it's that one. So here I can select the language but actually I don't want to change the language I just want to change the keyboard and there's formats and spell check date and time but again no way to <laughs> change the keyboard language. So it's really driving me nuts. Maybe I have to go to input devices. Let's see keyboard. Ah, oh, that looks promising. So let's go to keyboard. No actually keyboard model. I don't want to change the model layouts. At least here, I mean, I would expect that there is a German somewhere, but this is all quite esoteric. I don't even know what a layout indicator is and show flag, show label on flag. No one understands that crap, really. Advanced, I don't even want to talk about advanced. Yeah, but it's not possible to change the language of the keyboard. I'm really getting annoyed. Uh, so let's use the search. Keyboard. So here I would expect keyboard language to show up, but it doesn't, so let me type it. Yeah, but as you can see everything is grayed out now, so there seems to be no way to change the keyboard language in this leap thing here, uh, which is really strange. So maybe I'm in the wrong menu. Let's go to settings again. So configure desktop clearly was not a winner. Uh, although I think in other KDE based distributions it's in there, but anyway. Installation, no I don't want to install anything. Qt4 settings, I don't know who still uses Qt4, but that's clearly not it. So let's try this Yast thing. Uh, it looks like it is still around. I was kind of hoping it would fade away, but no, it's still there. And here actually there is something that looks interesting. System language keyboard. Select the system keyboard. So first question is what is the system keyboard as opposed to the keyboard? But let's try it anyway. Uh, that looks promising now. System keyboard configuration. And guess what? I've already selected German here. So let's test this baby. No, these are clearly not German umlauts, so it's not working. Well, maybe I need to switch to English again, see whether it makes any difference. English, English US for example. No, exactly same. Yeah, I don't see any difference. Uh, now let's go back to German again. Ah, now it starts working here. Interesting. So. Hopefully, if I click OK here, now it's updating system configuration. This may take a while. In other systems, like Ubuntu, for example, this doesn't take a while, right? You just select your keyboard language and boom, it's done. Why is this taking a while? So, you can see Yast is not my friend. Why is this taking a while? So, while it's taking a while, let's test whether it actually has changed something. Let's go to Kate. And let me test the German umlauts. Actually they are there now, while it's still taking a while. Uh, wh wh what's going on here? I just don't understand it. I entirely don't understand it. Let's see how long this thing takes. And I will not cut this video. I will wait all the time Yast needs to update. 
the keyboard language or thinks it needs because actually it seems to have updated it already oh did it crash now no it just went away right without further comment is it still working yes it is but this is clearly not a polished user experience and I would hope this could be improved a bit